If you have a Motorola phone and you want to transfer your photos, videos, music, documents, or other important files to your Windows 10 or 11 PC, laptop, or vice versa, so that when there is no Wi-Fi available, you can share those files quickly. We're going to show you the simple cable transfer process. We are using the Motorola Edge 50 Fusion for this video, but this process is exactly the same for any Moto Series phone like EG Stylus or Razer running on Android 15. So to connect them together, you can either use a USB A to C cable, or if you have a Thunderbolt port on your PC, you can use an USB C to C cable. Now, whatever you're using, just make sure it's a data transfer cable. Let's go ahead and connect them together. Now you might or might not get pop-ups on your device as well as your Windows PC. If you do not get any pop-up and you enter the My PC section on your laptop, you'll see Motorola's name, but if you enter it, you'll see no internal storage is available. So all you have to do is on your phone, just swipe down the screen, tap on the USB connected notification, and from here, just select file transfer option. Now in our case, I can see that I'm immediately getting a unique type of pop-up on my windows. You can start importing photos from here, or what I can do, I'm just closing it off, because the interface is unknown to me. So instead, I'm just opening up this PC or my computer, whatever you are seeing, to Motorola, to its internal storage. You will see all the files in here where your photos, videos, documents, and music is stored. So for example, if you wanna transfer your mobile photos or videos to your computer, it's usually stored at the DCIM section. Just open it up, go to camera, and what I'm gonna do here is just copy everything from here. And uh, as I have created a folder outside of the desktop of my computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste everything in there. You can follow the exact same process if you wanna transfer other files like music or documents from your mobile to your computer. And if you wanna transfer anything back to your mobile from your computer, just go ahead and select the source of those files like photos, videos, or music, whatever you want to transfer, and then simply copy and then paste it inside their related folders so that, you know, later on you can quickly find them. So that's how you can transfer all files from your Motorola to your computer and vice versa. Thank you for watching.